good morning yesterday akanksha has put forward one uh, question related to hyperventilation and oxygen binding affinity to the hemoglobin before going into the concept please spend few minutes to understand few concepts that we are going to discuss now the first point is what is ventilation before going into hyperventilation what is ventilation ventilation means the amount of or the volume of air that we are taking in and coming out so the exchange of air through the lungs in and out is known as ventilation so obviously hyperventilation means we are having excessive amount of volume of air that is coming inside the lungs so that is hyperventilation keeping it aside let us discuss about a point called partial pressures so what is the meaning of partial pressure is that when we take an empty container like this there are many gases filled in this so at an individual level individual gas exerts the pressure onto the walls so what is the amount of the pressure that is exerted by the individual gas is known as partial pressures of that particular gas so partial pressures of oxygen is that among the volume of air that we are taking inside what is the individual amount of pressure exerted by the oxygen is that partial pressures of oxygen so we learn ventilation we learn partial pressures of oxygen keeping them aside hemoglobin affinity what is the meaning of hemoglobin affinity hemoglobin have four oxygen molecules has the capacity to bind with four oxygen molecules so when it is known as saturated hemoglobin is completely filled in all those four sides with the oxygen so that is what is hemoglobin's affinity uh, there is something known as oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve in this oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve it tells about to what partial pressures how much hemoglobin is getting saturated so if suppose there is excessive partial pressures of heme excessive partial pressures of oxygen the high, the uh, hemoglobin saturation is also more so there is more of partial pressures of oxygen the hemoglobin is also the saturation of hemoglobin is also more and same if the oxygen partial pressures are less hemoglobin saturation decreases and it starts dissociating the oxygen dissociation increases from the hemoglobin right with this single point in mind think what is happening in hyperventilation in hyperventilation the first thing happens is that the partial pressures of oxygen raises oxygen partial pressure raises so what did i say before if the partial pressures of oxygen is increasing then the oxygen uh, the hemoglobin saturation is also increased so that's why hemoglobin saturation is increased during hyperventilation the other point why is the oxygen uh, saturation increasing because uh, the hemoglobin saturation is increasing is that during hyperventilation the carbon dioxide levels decreases during hyperventilation the carbon dioxide levels decreases which will increase the ph that is raise in ph that causes respiratory alkalosis we all know ph raises it causes alkalosis so in respiratory alkalosis oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve shifts to left it also indicates the left shift of the oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve also indicates the raise of hemoglobin saturation or affinity to oxygen right so these are the two points which suggests that the oxygen affinity by the hemoglobin is increased in hyperventilation so those are the two major points that we have to remember when there are raise in partial pressures of oxygen there is affinity of hemoglobin affinity by the hemoglobin to oxygen increases and the second point is that the carbon dioxide levels decreases in hyperventilation which causes the oxygen to take up by the hemoglobin so this is what is the uh, answer for that question thank you so much